so yes guys i'm back uh i'm not sure if you guys remember on the previous mission where i was playing um it's like uh, i did a couple of stuff and i think i ended the video where i had to follow her and for some reason like i've I actually been playing for a long time now and like it's keep on giving me errors and everything but so now i finally managed to get close to her so let's see what happens and for some reason like it could only happen at night so so I don't know. I'll be quiet and then let let it like let it let, let this thing play out on its own. So let's go. See that opening? Apartment two one six. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Almost, almost happy. <laughs> Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. But I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hakon. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out 
even to the edge of town. Oh, shit, Luan! Juan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Here, I got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to. But don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? 
No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Cygnus. She... whatness? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm going to kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now, yeah. good night, Eden. I'm here, yeah. The one? Well, I'm glad you're alive. That was one hell of a ride in that building. And then, you just disappeared. We need to talk. It's about the GRE database you're looking for. I finally found something concrete. Waiting for you on the 
ship. Thanks, Jack. I'll meet you in your quarters as soon as I can. Luan? Luan, you there? <laughs> Luan, come on, you hear me? Just let me know you're okay. Spread the good word about the PKs. Pilgrim, before you say that you're activating more. <laughs> The best item. Are here. Right. Haven't seen them for weeks.
Hey, I'm Aiden. What's your name? Match. I was asked to bring you home. What about the infected up there? There aren't any. It's safe. Then, uh, I'll just hang here. Tell Hugh I'll uh, be back later. Look, your father wants you home. He's worried. Hugh ain't my father. I just work for him. Like a slave. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to go back. You can't make me. And what's Hugh's real story? Never mind. I don't want to get other boys into trouble. No, it's okay. You can tell me. Stay out of it, okay? It's none of your business. Fine. I'll talk to him myself. You really want to stay here? Sure. Not my first time alone in the city. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I bet. Hey, Aiden. Thanks for clearing out the infected. No problem, kid.
chased him and he almost got away. You were lucky he fell into that hole. the radio broadcasts. People are already enlisting. We'll get even more when we boost the signal. What happened? Where's Match? He says he's not coming back. He doesn't want to work for you anymore. What's he mean, Hugh? None of your business! You made it my business when you sent me after Match. Got me there. So what exactly are you doing with these kids, Hugh? Match seemed desperate not to come back. Fine, I'll tell you. I'm training them to survive. Come again? I've taught him to steal and spy. For you? For anyone who pays. Are you crazy, Hugh? If the peacekeepers catch them, they'll have no mercy. That's the first thing I teach them. How not to get caught. It's a fucked up world, Pilgrim. No one's gonna go easy on these orphans. I'm living proof of that. I teach them how to survive. Isn't that what fathers do for their children? Match doesn't understand that. Not, not now. He's at that rebellious age. When he makes it in the city, he'll realize it's because I prepared him. You're not gonna go after him? I'm not holding anyone here. We're family. <laughs> 